Hello and welcome to Roots to Sprouts. I welcome you all to the part 2 of 2023 garden show video. In this video we are going to see what are the easy ways to get your farmland qualified for ag exemption. You can do lot of things like doing agriculture, production, livestock, beekeeping and several other activities you can do. The easy two things that you can do is number one is chicken coops, number two is beehives. Let's check what are all the livestock are eligible for ag exemption. In this list when you google it will show cattle, sheep, goats and bees, it doesn't show chicken. There is a reason for that because when you grow a chicken for your own use it's not it doesn't qualify for an agriculture exemption you have to make it like a profitable business that means you have to sell the produce of the chicken either it can be an egg or it can be a meat so when you produce a revenue from what you grow what you raise in your farm then it qualifies for ag exemption that's what it's clearly mentioned. Chicken do qualify for Texas Ag Exemption, not only in Texas, in many other states as well. It depends where you live and there are certain requirements varies by state. When I was doing this garden show visit last week in the in, in season, in part one, I did mention about that we are going to do a detailed look at the chicken coop. One of the booth vendor, the local vendor, they have a family owned business of designing this chicken coop in multiple different um, styles and uh, different sizes and it was very attractive and uh, I was really taken back by the style, the color, the design, uh, how compact it is, how mobile it is. There are multiple things that attracted me so I stopped by to discuss and to know more about this chicken coop and uh, they are so nice and so kind to share all the information with us. Let's get into the video now. Hi, do, do you mind explaining about what you have here? Okay. Uh, it comes like a tractor kind of a thing, wheel, so you can move around it. Yes. Okay, wow, that's so nice. Can you choose what color you want? Uh-huh. And then you can choose any of our optional items. We offer our solar chandelier, weather vanes, okay. vendors, your automatic hen house door, uh, large back door with the in, in this size of a, a coop, like how many chickens you can? Twelve hens. Twelve hens? Yes, oh, and okay. a large size that will house 24. Okay. Yes. Okay. So what we do is get half down to start an order, and when uh -huh. we deliver the coop to you, you would pay the balance. Balance. Okay. Approximately, how much it would cost for this size? This size starts at thirty-three hundred and fifty. Thirty-three hundred and fifty. Yes, it uh, all these automatics, whatever I see, it's like add on to that. Yes, sir. Okay. So this coop actually. It has our solar chandelier. Uh-huh. It's got our automatic pin house door. Okay. It's got the large back door with the screen. It's got your planter boxes. Uh-huh. So this coop is 4460. You know, it's pretty attractive price, yes, I'm telling sir. you, because a yes, lot of things what I've seen made out of wood, yes. it's much costlier than yes, what sir. it is. Yes, sir. This is this something like a promotion that you had? No, no. sir. And okay. We've been doing this full time six years. Oh, okay. Uh, my husband is and build them and it will last you forever. Wow. Yes, so is there any particular surrounding that you are delivering this or um, any? Or do you live near here? I have a land in Quinland. Do you know uh, there is a place called Greenville? Yes. Let me it's say. before Greenville. It's in Hunt County. Quinlan. Q-U-I-N-L-A-N. Okay. Can I, can I just look around? Oops. Oh, it's so a sliding, okay. So 290 to deliver it. 290, to okay. Yes, 
And this is the solar chandelier. It's a solar chandelier, wow. yes, sir. That's so nice. With the drop light in your hen house back ah, here. Okay. So we can step around here, and I can show you. This is where you would gather your eggs, eggs. on both okay. sides. Okay. And then back here in the back. And this is sturdy from all the predators or anything, right? Like a predators oh, yes. and all yes. that. Yes, if they they're not gonna get through this wall. Okay. Now, if something were to dig underneath at night, uh -huh. you might want your outer automatic door here. Got it. Because then they see they'll be locked in the hen house oh. if something were to come in. But most of most of the droppings are gonna fall through the floor. Through this. Yes, sorry, sir, I'm so sorry. Okay. This is gonna lift uh -huh. and it's gonna hook right here. Oh. Then my broom, see my broom over there in the corner? Oh, yep. About yep. twice a week, if you sweep okay, what you fall, that's all the cleaning you're going to do. Perfect. Yes, wow. sir. And then back here is our corner. All of these colors. These colors. Yes, okay. sir. That's our price list. That's our standard coupe is what you're looking at here. Uh -huh. And then we offer a larger coupe. And then these are the items, because they're going to all come with your wheels. But if you want any of these. That's so nice. Did you want to place an order today? I'm going to uh, talk to my wife. Yes. But I do have your contacts. Yes, sir. I'm mainly doing this for my YouTube so that I can promote all the oh, vendors okay. here. Yes, sir. At the same time, I need one for myself. Yes, I'm sir. going to come back. I'm going to call you. Yes, sir. Do Thank it. you. Nice meeting you. You too. Thank, Thank you, you so sir. much. This is awesome. In the next video, we are going to see how to have beehives in your farm. So beekeeping is one of the another way you can get an ag exemption in your farmland and uh, there are a lot of experienced people who can help you and I met one such person and I was really amazed her energy and her experience in this beekeeping industry. Bees plays a vital role in our ecosystem term that allows a different species to coexist. They support the growth of trees, flowers and other plants which serves as food and shelter for other creatures including humans. Alright, so you want to know something about beekeeping. Yes. I have some information that you can take with you to understand about bees but the problem is, mm -hmm. is that beekeeping is awesome. And once you get into it, you love it. Like we started with two hives. Oh, okay. And I said, I do not want more than four. Okay. Now we have 12. <laughs> 12, wow. Well, because the bees will swarm and come from another area if they're not happy with their home. Yeah. And they end up on one of our trees. Got it. And then we just take a box, shake them down into the box, and then we have more bees. Okay. okay. Now, if you're thinking about beekeeping for ag valuation, mm -hmm. um, then it depends on the county. County, yep. Mm -hmm. But normally, it requires a minimum of five acres, acres for the bees. For just for the bees. Okay. And one acre for your homestead. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Oh, I like that. Got it. So, Backyards. No. It's not a good option for backyards. I can't hear you. For the backyards. Oh, yeah, for a backyard, the beehives are fine. One or two for a backyard. But it depends on your HOA and all of that, yeah. Yeah, but you just have to ask the HOA exactly, and yep. see what they say. Exactly, yeah. But this is a fact. If there were no honeybees at all, then all humans would not exist. In exactly. Three because there wouldn't be any food. Yeah. But the the bees, if you're not a beekeeper, you can help the bees by not doing pesticides. Pesticides, yep. And in the summertime, you can help by putting a little dish of water out okay. when it's really dry uh -huh. with some rocks. Okay, okay. So they can climb on the rocks. And then they can... Yeah. And, Got it. Um, but the bees maintain themselves for uh -huh. the most part. Okay. We just check on them to make sure that they're okay. Do, do you need like any plants to attract the bees, like the milkweed and uh, anything like that, like uh, flowers? Well, not milk 
milkweed, but flowers, yes. I okay. Mean, but a lot of the native plants okay. and trees, like right now, elm trees. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, dandelions. Dandelions, yep. Yeah, don't mow them because okay. the bees, and what's fascinating uh -huh. is I like to like sit outside the hive and watch them come in. Watch them come in. And look at their legs and see what color Pol pollen. Pollens, yeah. It's is it like, yellow or is it white or what yeah. is it? Yep. And, and my husband and I will run in the house and I'll go, David, they're loaded with loaded pollen. With, yeah, yeah. But I saw three or four with some white pollen. So that means this plant sounds Plant somewhere. size, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so we get excited looking at these yeah. legs. I had, I had a Eagleston Holly, the uh -huh. holly tree, uh -huh. Eagleston Holly in my backyard. When it flowers, yeah. it, it loads with lots of bees there. Yeah. So I don't know whether that is really a good pollen for the honey or anything like well, that. Well, it must be. Must be, okay. Now, the only thing is that most beekeepers harvest around here. Uh -huh. They harvest their honey about in July. July, okay. And that's because after July, uh -huh. the snow on the prairie starts Got to come it. out. Okay. Now, so they hibernate. Honey. They hibernate? After July, they hibernate? No, 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 no. They eat the bees. Love snow on the prairie. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, okay, but okay. But you don't want to eat the honey. Ah, it's okay. It's very bitter. Bitter. Okay. So what we do is the bees love the snow on the prairie. Uh huh. But then they make the honey and they eat that all winter long. Oh, okay. That's for okay. them. Oh, okay. Okay. Because they eat it. Ah. Because like in July there are more flowers. Flowers. That's why. So they all they have is what's in their hive. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Got it. So how long it will take for one hive to get the it's fully load to get it fully load? How long it takes for the bees? Well, it depends. So okay. Like the weather that we hopefully have coming up now. Uh huh. Uh, what you do is you put a box and then you and this is where the mom and the babies, the queen bee and okay. all the babies are. Yep. And then you put another box on top. Okay. And they fill that with honey. Uh huh. And then you put another box and they fill that fill with that honey. With, oh, okay. And when there's a lot of flowers out, like in um, May, uh -huh. they might fill this box Present. in one day. Wow. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah, it just depends. Okay. It depends on, on what is around it, how right. much flowers and all that. Okay. Right. Okay. And um, is this like a real honey or is it like well, a wax? Well, this is uh, like when they first make the comb, comb. it's all yep. white. Okay. And see the honey inside. They fill it, okay. And then when the honey gets to the top of that cell, mm -hmm. the bees actually know when it's 17 and a half percent humidity. Ah. They know that. They know that. Wow. And then they put a wax covering over the top. Okay. And that okay. means the honey's ready. Oh, wow. They know that. They know that. Wow. Yeah. And so then what the beekeeper does is then pretend this is covered on uh -huh. the top. Uh huh. And what the beekeeper does is scrape the top. Just the wax. Yeah. Okay. And then let the honey drain, drain out. Drain it. Okay. And you just uh, put cheese in So off. you don't disturb the comb. You just take the honey out no, from the comb. Well, you take the top, top off the layer comb. of it. Okay. But then what the bees do when you put the frame back in uh -huh. is they repair it themselves. They repair it themselves. Wow. That's their job. They have. Uh -huh. They have six slits on their body okay. where the um, wax comes out. Wow. And then they use their mouth to soften it and shape it into the honeycomb. One of the most intelligent insects, I think. In the summertime when all the uh, flora is out, uh -huh. a honeybee only lives about six weeks if they're a forager. If they're the ones that go out, okay. they fly three to five miles okay. to pick up pollen and nectar. Uh -huh. And so what happens is they wear their wings out. Got it. Got now, it. Now, but once you've harvested the honey and you get, say, like uh, September, October, depending on the weather, mm -hmm. then the bees stay in the hive okay. and just eat whatever honey they Whatever honey they have. It. Okay. And the queen starts laying fewer eggs. Oh. The queen lays in the spring more about 1,500 to 2,000 eggs every day. Every day? Every day. Wow. Well, think about it, though. Those foragers going out uh -huh. are wearing their wings out. Okay, okay, yeah, so yeah. You need, you need more. Them. Yeah, you need to replace them. Yeah. Yep, yep, got it. And, and the hive is so smart, smart 
that the forgers will come back okay. and they'll say, uh, excuse me, queen, uh -huh. quit laying so many eggs because we can't feed them. Can't feed them. Yeah. Got it, got it. And so the brood just goes down to nothing in the winter oh, time. Oh, okay. Okay. They, they may not lay any eggs in the winter time. Got it. So, so if someone wants to set up uh, like a hive, do you guys help or do you yes. give an idea to set up how it is? So tell us about that. All right. So the Collin County Beekeeper Association okay. uh, meet the second Monday of every month. Second Monday of every month. Okay. At, at about 7 o'clock okay. at Collin College. Collin College. Okay. Yes. Got it. And you can just come in and talk to people. Oh. There are books you can check out. Okay. Um, people love to share. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then, but if you want somebody to help you with the ag valuation, yep. Uh, some of those beekeepers, beekeepers. and Shannon is one Hi, of them Shannon. who will come out and put the hives okay. on your property and okay. take care of them for you. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Uh, and what are what are these things actually? All right. Now, I've never made it. Let's say I want to check on my hives. Uh huh. The hive has a top on it. Okay. So, you take the top off. Okay. And then I might need to use this to break the propolis because the bees glue it. Glue it. Okay. Okay. So then I take a frame out. Uh huh. And look at it and make sure what's happening, if the bees are okay or not. Or not, okay. Yeah, on both sides. Both sides, okay. Yeah, and, but the problem is the bees will glue it right back. As soon as I get through, they glue it back. Got it, got it, okay, okay, yep. And then, is it like a smoke? Okay, the smoker, when I get to this point, when I take this off, uh -huh. then I smoke. Okay, so and what that does is, is that it gets the bees out of my way. Out of the way. They go down. Okay. Because they so it's easy for you to take. Ah, so they try to they run away from the smoke. Got it. That's why you and do that. That's what the smoke is for. Got it. And then your brush. Excuse me. My phone. The brush. If I want to look at this, it's probably completely covered with bees. Bees. So I can so you I go, move it. Okay, guys, go away so I can look. By the time when you see that, do you think the honeycombs are covered with the wax when you push the bees? Yeah. Right? Okay. Well, some might be, some might not. Some might not. Okay. But okay. you want to wait until this is like almost completely full of full. cat. Ah. Because if it's not cat, that means it's not 17 and a half percent. And that means that it may ferment and not be good honey. Ah, okay, okay. So you want to have cat. So, so you don't need to do anything. They be will take care of everything. You just need to wait and watch what's happening. Yes. Okay, okay. Got it. This is a great information. Thank you so much. It's I really like it. Yeah. But there is like ten times more. More, right? Yeah. Of yeah, course. But yeah. Come to a I will. I will come. Definitely. Yeah. This this video is going to help a lot of people to know at least what's all this, yeah, and I'm sure someone will be interested to come and meet and you. Fascinated. Fascinated. If yeah. They, if, uh, yeah. We have we actually have an observation hive okay. that's like glassed in, uh -huh. and we take it to schools and to I'm the sure Dallas Arboretum, I'll read them and, and educate people. Got it. Okay. okay. They can look inside the inside hive. hive. Yep. Thank you so much. The great information. I appreciate it. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs>